Hello po sa lahat. Uh, today po, pag-uusapan natin ang algebraic expressions and equations in real life situations, including po solving equation, uh, solving algebraic equations. So, ito po ay Math 6, uh, Quarter 3, Week 4 na lesson. Okay? Right? So, let's have a review first. Translate the following word phrases into algebraic expressions. 5 more than x. So, ingat tayo sa word na more than. So, 5 more. So, mas mataas ng 5 kaysa sa x. Kaya dapat x plus 5. So, nauna yung x tapos dagdag mo yung 5. And then next is 8 added to z. So, ibig sabihin ang 8 idagdag mo sa z. Kaya dapat mauna ang z. So, that should be z plus 8. And then, the same way with this, 7 subtracted from K. So, dapat ang 7, i minus mo, galing sa K. So, ang sagot mo dapat should be K minus 7. Now, this one is increased by 10, at the M, or M increased by 10, at the M plus 10 lang yan. So, pwede yan, madali lang. Now, this time, Y less than 100. So, uh, mas mababa ng Y kaysa sa 100, compared to 100. So, dapat mauna ang 100. So, that would be 100 minus y. Okay. So, for lesson 1, represents quantities in real-life situations using algebraic expressions and equations. So, example for that is, okay, this one. A kite is flying at an altitude of m meters. Kapag sinabing altitude, that is its height. Okay. And since m meters lang naman ang sinabi, so, ang height ng uh, kite flying is m lang. Okay? So, okay. Let's try this one for letter A. Express algebraically its new altitude after rising for 25 meters. So, bagong altitude, bagong height after rising. So, ibig sabihin, tumaas pa ang height ng, uh, fla uh, ng saranggola ng additional 25 meters. Kaya, Rising, that is just plus, and then 25 meters is just 25. So, originally, it was just m meters, ang altitude niya or height niya. And then, dagdagan ng 25. So, that would be m plus 25. So, finally, sagot natin is m plus 25. Okay? Next one. Right? So, still... Um, based pa rin dito and then let's have letter so m meters is just m so we have letter b express algebraically its new altitude after falling for 10 meters now ngayon naman it's falling so ibig sabihin ng falling bumaba e di minus diba so that is just minus and then 10 meters is just 10 10 okay so that would be m minus 10. Diba? So, final answer is M minus 10. So, that's the new height. Okay, next. A kite is flying at an altitude of M meters. So, ulit. M, ang M meters na 10. And then, letter C. Represent algebraically its new altitude after tripling its altitude. So, na triple ang altitude niya. So, ano ibig sabihin ng triple? Multiply mo din, ulang by 3 or times 3. Triple is just times 3. So, M multiplied by 3. Yan. So, hindi mo ito isusulat as M3. Okay? Kahit pa sinabi niyang M muna and then multiplied by 3, dapat mauna yung 3. So, yung answer natin would be 3M. Okay? And then, example 2. Translate into algebraic equation. Okay? This one, twice a number decreased by 6 is equal to 16. So, let B equals the number. So, if B is the number, it twice a number, that would be 2B. Kasi B is the number, diba? Decreased by, so that is minus, and then 6 is just 6, is equal to equals, and then 16. So, dyan pa lang nakuha mo na, na-translate mo na, di ba? So, that is 2B minus 6 equals 16. So, finally, answer natin is 2B minus 6 equals 16. So, that is the algebraic 
equation. Next. Okay. If 9 is added to the difference of a number and 19, the sum is 90. So, this time naman, okay, let B equals the number. And then, if 9 is added to, so, dapat ang 9 idagdag doon. So, plus 9 dapat yan, di ba? And then, the difference of a number, sa ka, kapag uh, nakita yung differ, uh, word na difference, dapat nakapaloob sa parenthesis. So, pareho lang yan sa di the difference, the sum, uh, the product, the quotient. Okay? The quantity. So, dapat nakapaloob sa parenthesis. So, ayan na yun, the difference. Kasi, sagot sa subtraction. Kaya, Dahil difference, minus nilagay natin, di ba? So, the difference of a number, ito na yung B and 19. So, that would be B minus 19 and the sum is 90. So, that is equals 90. So, i-add mo itong dalawa kasi ang kukuhanin natin is the sum, di ba? Kaya lang, since, okay, this one is plus 9, ito dapat ang idagdag dito, kaya dapat mauna ang... Um, term natin na ito na nakapaloob sa parenthesis. So, that would be B minus 19 or quantity B minus 19 plus 9 equals 90. Okay? So, algebraic equation natin is B minus 19 or the difference between B minus 19 plus 9 equals 90. Next, we have twice the sum of a number and 2 is 22. Again, let's have the number equal to C. And then twice, the sum of a number and 2. So, the sum of a number and 2, twice. So, 2 times ito, diba? And then the sum of a number, ayan, and 2. So, since the number is C, ayan lang siya. And then is equals 22. Ayan. So, Sagot natin would be, taktanggalin mo lang yung times dito. So, ang 2, itabi mo lang sa C plus 2 in parenthesis. Ha? So, that is 2 times the quantity C plus 2 equals 22. So, ang ating algebraic equation is 2 times the quantity. So, babasahin mo ito. Pwede mo itong basahin as the quantity. Uh, uh, pwede the sum. 2 times the sum of C plus 2 equals 22. Alright? Next, we have the product of 13 less. The product of 13 less than thrice a number and 5 will result, result to 45. So, we have here the number. Let D equals the number. And then, the product of 13 less. 13 less than thrice. So, dapat, um, since the number is D, so thrice the number, that would be 3D. Tapos, dapat i-minus natin ang 13 from 3D. Kasi, 13 less. Kaya, mas mababa ng 13 sa thrice the number. So, una muna yung na, na, uh, thrice the number. And then, minus yung 13. And then, i-multiply mo with 5. Kasi, the product daw of that one with 5. So, ayan. 3D minus 13. Okay, parenthesis natin, and then, since magkasama iyan, and then, okay, multiply natin with 5. So, ang 5, ilagay mo na dapat sa harap. And then, equals 45. So, final answer is 5 quantity 3D minus 13 equals 5. Now, for lesson 2, we will be doing some solving problems. So, consider the following verbal sentences. Number 1, a number increased by 5 is 12. The second one is the, the sum of two numbers is 8. If the first number is 3, what is the second number? So, let's have x equals the number. So, solve muna natin yung number 1. So, a number. So, since a number, edi, that is x. Diba? Increased by, that is just plus. And then 5 is just 5. Is is equal and then 12 is just 12. So, nandiyan na yung sagot mo. Okay? X plus 5 equals 12. Kaya lang, ang ginawa lang natin dito is translating, okay, 
the sentence into an algebraic equation. Kaya lang ang sabi, isolve natin yung problem. So, we have to solve for x this time. Right? So, if we're going to solve for x, that would be, okay, dapat tatanggalin natin ang kasama ng x dito. Kasi, to solve for an algebraic equation, dapat lalabas yung dulo mo as x is equal to a certain number. Ba? So, dapat tatanggalin natin ang mga kasama ng x dito. So, para mawala yung 5, okay, edi, okay, kopya ko lang sa baba ha, para mawala yung 5, i-minus natin yung 5. So, tatanggalin natin yung 5 dito, at para mawala yan, edi mag-minus 5 ka. So, since nag-minus 5 ka sa kaliwa, minus 5 ka rin dapat sa kanan para balanse. So, parang siso. Parang uh, timbangan, yung sa timbangan ni Liberty, di ba? Statue of Liberty. So, parang ganon. Okay? So, cancel na to. Cancel na yan. X na lang ang natira. So, we, not, we can now say that X is equal to 7 kasi 12 minus 5 is 7, di ba? Ayan o. So, X equals 7. Okay? Check natin. Paano natin i-check? Substitute mo yung 7, kasi daw x is equal to 7. Substitute mo yung 7 dito sa original equation. Okay? So, x plus 5 equals 12. So, lahat ng ginawa mo dito sa baba lang. So, yung 12 sa baba lang din, para hindi malito ha. So, palitan natin ito ng 7. So, that is 7 plus 5. And then, yung sagot dito, ilagay natin sa baba. So, 7 plus 5 is just 12. So, 12 is just 12. Okay? So, ganun ang pag-check. Right, next. So, yung pangalawa naman. The sum of two numbers is 8. If the first number is 3, what is the second number? So, let x be the second number. Bakit? Kasi yung first number daw ay 3 eh. So, meron ka ng first number. Diba? E di yung x na lang ang second number. Now, since ito yung second number, i-equate natin yon with 8. Kasi sabi, the sum of two numbers is 8. So, that would be first number is 3. Ayan, and then second number is 8, is equal to, and x pala, and then is equal to 8. And then, okay, ulit, dapat mawala ang kasama ng x dito sa kaliwa. Okay, so, kopya muna natin sa baba. So, para mawala ito, 3, since this is positive 3, or just 3, eh di dapat mag-minus tayo ng 3 para mawala ito. ba So, kung mag-minus ka dito sa kaliwa, mag-minus ka rin dapat sa kanan. So, that would be minus 3, minus 3. Kaliwaan ay magkabilaan dapat yan. Okay? So, cancel natin yan. Cancel. So, ang matira na lang is x. So, x therefore is equal to 5 kasi 8 minus 3 is just 5. Check natin. Ipalit natin yung 5 with x dito sa original equation. So, 3 plus x equals 8. Again, ha, ibaba mo lang yung nasa kanan. Ibaba mo lang dito sa baba din, sa kanan. Ito rin ang mga sagot dito sa baba lang din. So, 3 plus x is equal to 8. So, palitan natin ito ng 5. So, sagot dito would be the here, dito sa baba. So, 3 plus 5 is just 8. And then, that is equal to 8. Okay? So, tama yung sagot natin which is 5. Right, so let's have more example. So, pareho lang dun sa ginawa natin earlier. So, example 1, solve the equation 2x plus 3 equals 17. Now, this time, dalawa ang kailangan natin gawin dito. Okay, bakit? Kasi ang kasama ng x dito sa kaliwa ay 2 at saka 3. Right, so una, unang method, guess and test. So, pwede namang hindi mag-solve. Uh, subukan lang ang guess and, check, uh, guess and test or trial and error method. Okay? So, with this, you guess values for the variable and substitute to see if a true equation results. So, dapat maglagay ka ng table. So, the first one here would be x. That's the value of x. And then, ito yung expression natin. And this expression supposed to be is equal to 17. So, try natin with 1. If x is 1, ipalit natin dito sa x. So, that would be 2 times 1 plus 3. Now, 2 times 1 is just 2. Plus 3, that is 5. So, is it equal to 17? Hindi. Diba? So, hindi ito sagot. Next, subukan natin ang 2. So, ang 2, ipalit natin dito sa x. So, that would be 2 times 2 plus 3. So, this is 4. 
So, 2 times 2 is 4. Plus 3, 7 lang. So, ito is just 7. So, 7, is it equal to 17? No. ba? So, let's try 4. So, ang 4, ipalit natin ulit dito sa x. So, that would be 2 times 4 plus 3. And alam natin na 2 times 4 is 8. So, dagdaga natin ng 3. That's 11. So, yung expression natin dito, which is 11, is it equal to 17? So, hindi pa rin. Diba? Try natin ang 7. So, palit dito. 2 times 7 is 14. And then, plus 3, that is now 17. So, 17 is equal to 17. Kaya, sagot natin is 7. Okay? Now, tignan natin. Okay, so therefore, 7 is a solution of the equation. So, tignan natin yung pangalawang method. Uh, pangalawang, pangalawang method, cover up lang. So, yung isa is guess and check. So, parang guess and test or parang trial and error. Dito naman, cover up lang. So, paano gawin? In this method, we cover up the term with the variable. Okay? So, yung term na may kasama ang variable, i-cover lang natin. So, paano gawin? So, 2x plus 3 equals 17. Cover natin to. So, plus 3 equals 17. So, anong idadagdag natin sa 3 para makuha ang 17? Eh, di ba 14 lang? Di ba? Yan. So, to make a true equation, eto dapat must be equal to 14. So, kung ito is equal to 14, eh di 2x is equal to 14 kasi itong tinakpan natin is just 2x, di ba? So, kung 2x is equal to 14, ibig sabihin dalawang x is equal to 14. Eh di isang x must be 7. So, kuha na natin yung sagot, di ba? So, substitute natin. So, 2 times 7 and that is 14. So, therefore, x is equal to 7. So, x is our solution. So, tama yung sagot natin. Okay? Next, we have method 3. Work backwards. So, paano gawin yung working backwards? Susundan mo lang din ito. Okay? So, let's see ha. Okay. So, this is your unknown. This, this is x. Okay? So, ginawa lang natin box. Okay? Or rectangle. And then, mula dito, alam nyo na ang x is i-multiply i-multiply mo siya with 2. So, x, multiply it with 2. So, times 2. And then, kasunod is, dagdag ka ng 3. So, sunod is plus 3. And then, meron ka ng sagot na 17. Diba? Ang problema lang, ano yung value dito? Na ita times 2 mo, dagdagan mo ng 3, tas mo ko yung 17. So, work backwards mula dito. Ayan, backwards na. So, ang kabaligtaran ng plus 3 is just minus 3. So, 17 minus 3, that is 14, diba? And then, kasunod is, kabaligtaran ng times 2 is divided by 2. So, 14 divided by 2, sagot mo dapat is 7. So, ganun lang yan. Working backwards. So, mula dito, 17 minus 3, edi 14 divided by 2, 7. Ganun ang ibig sabihin ng working backwards. Okay? So, therefore, x equals now, next method, we have balancing. So, pareho lang to sa ginawa natin kanina, ibabalance mo lang yung kaliwa at kanan. But this time, gamitan natin ng okay, figures. So, 2x. So, yan yung dalawang x natin. So, bawat box is x. So, dalawang boxes, yun na yung 2x. Tapos, dapat may dagdag na 3. So, tatlong bilog or tatlong oblong. Okay? And then, okay, dito sa kabila should be 17. So, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Ayan. Okay? So, para mabalance ito, okay, dapat kung anong gagawin natin sa kalawa, kaliwa, gagawin din sa kanan, ba? At ang habol lang natin is dapat maiwan ito. Itong hindi natin alam ang value maiwan. Kaya dapat tanggalin natin itong tatlo. So, kung magtatanggal tayo ng tatlo dito, tanggal din tayo ng tatlo dito para balanse. Parang siso. 
di ba? Kung dalawang bata sa kaliwa, dalawang bata rin sa kanan, kung tatanggalin mo yung isang bata, dapat sa kabilang uh, dulo, tatanggalin mo rin yung isang bata. So, ganun yung sa siso, di ba? So, dito, ganun din. Tatanggalin natin yung tatlo dito, dapat tanggal ka rin ng tatlo dito. So, tanggalin natin, ayan, tanggalin din natin yung tatlo. So, kung bibilangin mo yung dalawang box mo dito is equal to 14. Ayan yun, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Eh di, hatiin mo lang din sa dalawa kasi dalawa to eh. So, itong dalawa maghahati dito sa 14 na ito. So, hatiin natin ang dalawa yan. Ayan. Eh di, ibig sabihin isang box ay mayroong 7 na oblong. Okay? So, isang ganito is just equal to 7 or x is just equal to 7. Ayan, okay? And, ginawa natin is balancing line. Alright, solution of an equation. So, ano ba yung ginawa natin? We're, uh, we're actually trying to have the solution for an equation. And, a solution of an algebraic equation is a number that makes the sentence true. Kaya nga, nag-check tayo kung tama ba yung sagot natin. So, kung tama, eh, yun na yung solution of the uh, algebraic equation. Okay? And, another example tayo. We have here, okay, pero solve and check natin. So, n plus 5 equals negative 5. So, this time, iba yung gagawin natin. Okay? Uh, since involved na dito yung uh, integer, we have a negative number na, we could use, okay, uh, this one. The sum of an integer is its And its opposite is equal to zero. So we are going to use counters, okay? Yung ano, zero pair, okay? O paano gawin yon? Okay, eto lang gawin gawin natin. So we use this block, this square as n. So it would represent n, okay? And then, eto ng isang yellow na square, na smaller square would be equal to positive 1 and then yung red would be equal to negative 1. Yun yung ibig sabihin ko kanina na we will, we will uh, use um, zero pairs. So, kapag magpartner itong dalawa, plus 1 at saka minus 1, you now have a zero pair. So, pag partner mo yan, zero na. Okay? So, magagamit natin yan with the next uh, representation. Okay? Alright. Okay. So, n plus 5 equals negative 5. So, n kanina sabi ko ay gagamitan natin ng ganyan. Plus, isang positive ay isang yellow, di ba? So, since this is 5, eh di limang yellow square. And that is equal to negative 5, eh di limang red square. Okay? And, okay. Ang habol natin is maiiwan ito sa kaliwa kasi ito yung n. Ito yung hindi natin alam ang value, di ba? Ito alam natin yung value, eh. 5 lang to eh. Ito negative 5. Pero hindi ito na, hindi natin alam ang value nito. Kaya ito dapat ang maiiwan. So para mawala ito, edi gagawa tayo ng zero pair. So paano mangyayari 'yon? Edi i-partner natin ang mga red dito. So kung magre-red magpa-partner tayo ng red dito, kailangan natin ng limang red. Ayan. So, this is now 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 na. ba? Diba? Kaya lang, since naglagay tayo ng limang red dyan, para makuha mo yung zero pairs, dapat lagay ka rin ng limang uh, red dyan. Okay? So, since uh, sampu na ito, okay, zero na ito, we can now say that this one is equal to sampung negative. ba? Diba? Kaya, we could say that n is equal to negative 10. Ganun lang yun. So, paano natin i-check? Yan, check natin. n plus, negat ay, plus 5 is equal to negative 5. ba? Diba? So, n natin ay sampung uh, negative. ba? Diba? Or negative 10 plus 5 equals negative 5. So, sampung negative. O, ayan siya. Plus 5, limang positive, is equal to limang negative. ba? Diba? So, ipakita natin equal ba itong dalawa? Paano? E, di partner mo lang to. Di ba? partner mo lang to. 
red at saka 1 yellow is already a zero pair. So, tanggal na yun, di ba? So, tatanggalin ko na lang para mas mabilis ha. So, isang red, isang yellow ay zero. Another red and yellow, zero ulit. Another red and yellow, okay? Another red and yellow. And finally, isang yellow na lang. Tapos, partner natin sa isang red. Ayan. So, wala na. So, wala na tayong pwedeng i-partner. So, ang natira ngayon is ito na lang. Edi, ito ngayon is negative 5. That is just equal to negative 5. Ayan. Diba? So, you could say now that yung sagot natin, which is negative 10, is correct. Ayan. Kasi negative 5 is equal to negative 5. Therefore, n, which is equal to negative 10, is correct. Okay, so our solution is negative 10. Alright, so yung kailangan lang natin para makasolve ng equations are the four basic properties. So una, that is the addition property of equality. And it says here, if the same quantity is added to both sides of an equation, the resulting equation is equivalent to the original equation. Ang ibig sabihin lang nito, okay, kung ano ang idinagdag mo sa kaliwa, Ganun din dapat ang idagdag mo sa kanan. Kaya nga addition property eh. Okay, so ulit pareho sa siso. Kung dadagdagan mo ng isang bata sa kaliwa, dagdagan mo rin ng isang bata sa kanan. Ganun lang yon ang ibig sabihin nun. So, ginawa sa kaliwa, gagawin sa kanan. The same way with subtraction. Okay, if the same quantity is subtracted from both sides, o ganun ulit. So, yung equivalent, uh, the, result, uh, the resulting equation is equivalent to the original equation. So, um, pareho lang ang kalabasan nun. Kasi nga, nag-subtract ka sa kaliwa, subtract ka rin sa kanan. Kaya nga sabi, subtract from both sides para balance. Ma-maintain mo yung balance. Ganun lang. So, from the word subtraction, pro, subtraction, edi magsasubtract ka lang from both sides. Okay? Now, the same way with multiplication, ganun din. Multiply mo uh, both sides. So, if both sides of an equation are multiplied by the same non-zero, wag naman yung zero, non-zero quantity, the resulting equation is equivalent to the original equation. So, the same way, pag nag-multiply ka sa kaliwa, multiply ka rin sa kanan with the same number. Ha? Pareho dito, the same number dapat lahat yan. Dito rin, the same number. Okay? So, kung mag-multiply ka, ganun din, the same number sa kaliwa, the same number then sa kanan. The same way with division, ganun din. If you divide the left with a certain number, divide mo rin dapat yung kanan with that same number. Parehong number lang dapat. Okay? So, let's have more examples for this para mas maintindihan. Okay, example 1. We have x plus 15 equals 35. So, dapat tanggalin natin ang 15 at may iiwan ang x. So, para mawala yung 15, okay, eh di magma-minus tayo, di ba? Kasi plus 15 yan eh. So, kapag nag-minus tayo sa kaliwa, minus din tayo sa kanan. Ayan. So, x plus 15 minus 15 is equal to 35 minus 15. So, ito yung sinasabi na i-apply natin yung property. So, since nag-subtract tayo dito, ang in-apply natin property is the subtraction property. Okay? So, tanggal na ito. Tanggal na yan. Tanggal na yan. So, we now have x is equal to 20. Now, check natin. Ipalit natin ang 20 dito. So, originally, it's x plus 15 equals 35. Palitan natin ito ng 20. Ayan. So, 20 plus 15, dito sa baba yung sagot, ba? That is just 35. And then, 35 dito. Ed, equal na sila. ba? Next, we have negative 28 is equal to 9 plus c. Okay? So, tatanggalin lang yung 9, ba? So, kaya, para mawala yung 9, ed, nag-minus tayo ng 9. So, minus din tayo nag-9 dito. Para... Tanggal na yan. Okay? Dapat lang baligtaran. Plus 9, minus 9. Dito rin, plus 15, minus 15. Baligtaran lang yan. So, dahil nag-minus nag, uh, nag 9 ka dito, dapat magma-minus 9 ka rin dito. So, again, subtraction property ang ginamit natin. So, C na lang ang natira dito. And then, minus 28, minus 9 is just equal to minus... 37. Okay? So, answer natin is C equals negative 37. Check natin. 
right? Substitute natin ang negative 37 for C dito. Okay, so negative 28 is equal to 9 plus C. And then substitute natin, we have negative 28 is equal to 9 plus negative 37. So kapag i-add mo itong dalawa, since hindi pareho ang sign, i-minus mo, di ba? So 37 minus 9, that is just 28. And then yung uh, symbol is negative kasi mas malaki ang digit ng 37 at negative ang 37. Kaya 28 ang sagot dito, negative 28. Eh since negative 28 dito, eh di equal na silang dalawa. Negative 28 is equal to negative 28. So tama yung sagot natin which is negative 37. Right, next, we have 4x is equal to negative 24. Okay, now, kapag sinabing 4x, imumultiply mo ang 4 with x. So, since baligtaran ang dapat natin gawin, edi eh, i-divide lang natin ito with 4. Divide natin with 4 para mawala yung 4 dyan. Okay, so, ang gagawin natin dito ngayon, since magdi-divide tayo dito sa dalawa, uh, that is now division property. So, the same as the same uh, quantity had the same number. So, since 4 ang katabi ng x, dapat i-divide natin siya with 4 kasi 4 divided by 4 ay 1 na siya. So, 1 times x, may iwan na lang ay x. So, divided by 4, divided by 4. So, tanggal na to. Cancel na yan. Okay? So, since this is now 1 times x, eh, di x na lang ang natira dito. And then, negative 24 divided by 4, a negative divided by a positive, negative ang sagot mo. And then, 24 divided by 4, that is just 6. So, ang sagot is negative 6. Now, check natin. Okay, palit natin ang negative 6 with this 1. So, dito natin siya ipalit, di ba? So, 4 now times 6 or negative 6. Is it equal to negative 24? Yes, negative uh, or 4 times negative 6 is negative 24. Negative 24, therefore, is equal to negative 24. So, example 4, we have minus 13 is equal to minus 5G plus 32. Now, ang una natin gagawin dito, okay, since uh, marami kasama ng Uh, letter dito ay may 5, meron ding 32. E di unahin natin yung uh, subtraction or uh, addition. So, since ito ay plus 32, ito yung muna unahin natin. Okay? So, tatanggalin natin ang 32 dito. So, apply natin ang subtraction property. So, minus 32, para mawala ito, minus 32 rin dito. So, that would be minus 13 minus 32 equals Uh, minus 5G plus 32 minus 32. So, baligtaran na naman. Plus 32 minus 32. E di tanggal na yan. Diba? Ayan. Tanggal na yan. So, ito na lang ang matira ngayon. Okay? So, that is now negative 5G is equal to. E dahil parehong negative yan, add mo that is negative 45. So, negative 45 is equal to negative 5G now ngayon tatanggalin naman natin yung katabi niya na negative 5. So, para mawala ang negative 5, eh, di i-divide mo with negative 5. So, negative 5 divided by negative 5, positive na yun. Positive 1. And then, times mo with G, eh, di G lang yan. Positive 1G is just G. And then, ito naman, divide mo with negative 5 din. Okay? Ayan. Yan. So, negative, negative, positive, G na lang matitira dito. Now, ito naman, negative and negative, positive din ang sagot. Pero, 45 divided by 5 is 9. So, ayan, cancel muna natin. So, you now have 9 is equal to G. So, G therefore is just 9. Then, substitute natin to check. Okay. So, substitute natin ang 9 for G. So, originally, this is minus 13 equals negative 5G plus 32. Palit natin, palitan natin ito with 9. Ayan. Okay. So, negative 13 is equal na to negative 5 times 9 plus 32. So, negative 5 times 9 is just negative 45, di ba? Ayan. So, negative 45. So, ngayon, i-minus natin itong dalawa kasi negative ito, positive ito eh. Di ba? So, minus natin dito. Okay. 
45, negative 45 minus 32, or 45 minus 32 is just, okay, 13 lang din. Tapos, negative din siya kasi mas malaki yung 45, di ba? So, negative 13 is just equal to negative 13. Right? And then, let's have number 5. Example number 5. We have H over 5 is equal to 8. Now, this time, kung titignan nyo, H over 5, division ito. So, para mawala ito, gawin mo lang yung kabaligtaran. E di multiply mo na. Di ba? So, para mawala yung 5, multiply natin with 5. Multiply natin with 5. Okay, ulit ha. Kung ginawa sa kaliwa, gagawin sa kanan. Na multiply, multiply natin with 5, cancel na lang ito. Yan, cancel na lang yan. Okay? And then, H therefore, ito na yung natira. H therefore is equal to 40. Check natin. Palit natin yung 40 sa H. Yan, ito yung original number. Palitan natin na 40. So, 40 over 5 is just 8. Tama ba? 40 over 5 is 8. Ito yung sagot natin dito ha. And then, 8 dito sa baba. So, that is just 8 equals 8. Okay? So, tama yung sagot natin which is 40. Na example 6, we have Z over 4 minus 7 is equal to 35. Now, again, meron siyang ibang kasama, hindi lang isang number. Okay? Ang kasama ng Z dito is 4 at saka minus 7 or negative 7. Okay? So, dapat tanggalin muna natin ito kasi mas complicated kung i-multiply muna yan diretso kasi dalawa pa yung number na involved. Eh. So, unahin muna natin ito kasi mas mabilis itong tanggalin. Okay? So, since minus 7 ito, edi plus 7 tayo. So, ang gagamitin natin ngayon is uh, addition property muna. Okay? So, addition property muna. Okay? So, uh, may plus tayo ng 7 kasi baligtaran, di ba? Ayan, minus 7 plus 7. Kaya plus 7 din dito. So, cancel na itong dalawa. So, ang na, natira na lang is z over 4 and then this is now equal to 42. Ayan. So, z over 4 equals 42. Now, dapat din kaila, uh, ma matanggal natin yung 4. Kaya, since this is division, Multiply natin with 4. Okay? So, division, kabaligtaran is multiplication. So, para mawala ito, multiply tayo with 4. Multiply tayo with 4. So, cancel natin yan. Ang matitira na lang is Z. And then, ito naman, okay, uh, 40 times 4 is just 160. And then, 2 times 4 is just uh, 8. So, sagot is 160. So, Z equals 168. Check natin kung tama. Okay. Palit natin ang 168 for Z. So, originally, ito yung equation natin. So, palitan natin ito ng 168. Ayan. 168 over 4 minus 7 equals 35. Diba? So, 168 divided by 4 is just 42. Diba? So, 42, ito sagot dito, 42 minus 7 equals 35. So, 42 minus 7 is 35, diba? Kaya sagot dito is 35, baba mo lang yan, 35. So, you now have 35 equals 35. So, ganun lang yon okay? So, check other websites for um, practice exercises for this para... Uh, mas uh, matuto and then if ever you want to solve these problems na nilagay ko dito uh, siguro pause the video and then isolve nyo muna yung part na ito or dito muna and then kung gusto nyo na i-check kung tama yung sagot nyo sa kanyo i-play ulit okay? para mas maintindihan okay? so that is all thank you for watching